What? What? Thanks. So. It's what? I feel like this should be wine. Oh, it should. <laughs> is that, why is it not? It's only Tuesday. Fact, that's one of the assumptions I grabbed. Oh, really? What? It was literally like, I feel like the two of you, this would be a much better video if you were wine tasting. <laughs> oh my gosh, we said <laughs> it would be so accurate. Boys, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, first, have I got shit in my teeth? Oh god, just a little bit there. Look. Go? Yeah, I think it's gone. What? Let's do a few... First things first, Carrie, you might want to be in shot of the camera. <laughs> You're recording! Yeah. Oh my god, sake! <laughs> I just asked if I had shit in my teeth. And you did. And <laughs> rule number one of being a best friend. This is quite nice and toasty. Well, it was actually quite cold in here, but um, I just like how it looks. <laughs> Although I'm not used to you being in the shot and you're actually blocking my fire. Do you mind just getting out? I <laughs> fire. I think you can see me. Don't look like my mum. You, do, you actually do look like your mum in those? Yeah. I mean, I would tell you if I could see, but your glasses are so filthy, as per usual. Standard. So, hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome to the video that we have been saying that we are going to film for, how many years have we worked together? Five-ish, four, five? Uh, yeah, four, five-ish years. We've always said that we're gonna film this, like, kind of best friend tag, just kind of like a Q&A, but then I saw that the assumptions about me tag was obviously going around again, and I've already done that, but I thought how fun it would be to do it with my best friend. With Carrie Grayson. Because people assume quite a lot about us. Yeah, yeah, it's really funny because we're obviously best friends first. Actually, it's probably. Yes, it was. Yeah, best yeah, friends best friends first. first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. <don't, I laughs> well, no, because we probably. Because we, of COVID, we've spent more time as work. We haven't had as much best friend stuff at the moment, really. Yeah, but that's only been 18 months, Millen. Yeah. Been <laughs> So, oh. <laughs> yeah, so we were best friends first and then basically Carrie one day turned around to me and she was like, so I'm, I'm leaving my job and I was like, oh, that's really sad. And she was like, yes, and I'm going to come and work for you. And I was like, that's not how yeah. it went. <laughs> I was like, no. You'd been saying for ages, like, oh, I, I could only have a few work with me, I think, and that would be the only person you'd trust to work with you. And you were getting busier and busier and I was helping out more and more alongside my other job and then I just had enough of my other job and I rang her. I rang you from Maruba. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, was like, yeah. I've decided I'm leaving when I get back and then I'm coming to work from you and you have no choice in the matter. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I panicked obviously because I'd never had anyone work like for me in that capacity. I'd had, I'd like had management but never like actually ha had someone in house. So I was really nervous to begin with, like really, really nervous because obviously that responsibility, I obviously wanted my friend to have a great job and I wasn't sure I could provide that for her. <laughs> I made sure I'd provide it for myself. <laughs> yeah, so that was basically how it happened. So we've been saying that we're gonna do this video for ages and we've always put it off. And with it now, I think tomorrow when this video goes live is National Best Friend Day. And no, so it's today. It'll is be it? going live on the day, I think. On the 7th? Yeah. It's the 8th. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know I'm in the organisation yeah. of the relationship. <laughs> but it is, it's National Best Friend Day. And um, we thought that this was a really good way to commemorate that. So, without us talking too much in the forefront, because it's already seven minutes, we basically popped up a question box and lots of people thought that you were leaving. That's what everyone thinks whenever I mention you. They're like, she's leaving. Well, it was that, when I was going through, it was that or that I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Loads of people thought I was getting married. I'm not getting married, people. I really hope she's not. Because <laughs> I don't want to do, do maid of honour duties. Your time will come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Take back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, so let's get into the questions. We've actually got loads, well, the assumptions. We've actually got loads of assumptions, so we might not be able to get through all of them, but hopefully we're gonna spill some tea, because I absolutely loved filming this the other day. It was like, I just find these videos so interesting. So now is your chance to get everything out in the open. So do you wanna pick first? You pick, you pick the one that you, wanna, you want no, to... No, go for it. No, no, you go. 
I always get to do everything it's on just my all channel. Pictures of you. No, 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 because those are the ones that I pick. Oh, let's do one. One of the okay, ones but you, you pick, do. Then. You just pick whichever one. I'll pick one of the ones you pick at random, and then you pick one of the ones I picked at random. Okay, there we go. That wasn't at random. You were looking without my glasses. You think oh. I, can... <laughs> I don't have that excuse? I feel like you two really enrich one another, and each helps the other grow in her own way. Oh. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. To be honest, there was a lot of very, very nice and supportive. In fact, I didn't see any that were really that horrible. No, I was no. quite surprised actually. Yeah, I, I thought... was bracing myself for some, I'm under the thumb and all of this. And it was like, oh, here we go again. But no, they were all lovely. Yeah, yeah, the, they were. Okay, so this is something that we say quite a lot. Yeah. In that like, because we're so different in a lot of ways, but so similar in a lot of ways. We've helped expand each other's horizons in the areas that the other one is utterly clueless. <laughs> I think that's a nice way to put it. I, I'm laughing because the stuff that I get my life enriched with is like classical music and hiking and things like that. You get <laughs> like highlighter yeah. and fillers. Yeah. <laughs> Liz is like, Liz teaches me how to put makeup on on a daily basis. <laughs> like begs me to start using an eye cream <laughs> and, I, and I was told that if I if you don't come back and you you die while you're out hiking like I will never forgive you and then within several months of Covid it was like oh the great outdoors Milan is now interested and we now go hiking together and it's great it's great just don't go to Everest again I can't promise that she's not allowed to go to Everest <laughs> again that was the worst thing ever I hated that I absolutely hated that. I mean, you obviously, I loved it for you. In a selfish sense, I hated it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I think we, we do, don't we? Yeah. Like, and even, we have such different interests as well. Like, I think you being outside more has then also, you found things off your own back through being outside more, like gardening, and which I have no interest in, Yeah, but I'm trying. I also like the fact that like, normally you would just like go on a hike, but with me, it's a hike with wine. <laughs> well, yeah, well there's something else, like I have a real interest in food and wine and yeah. that sort of thing. And like, you've developed an interest in wine as wine, not just like a, hey, let's get pissed type thing. Lambrini. Yeah. <laughs> and, so now we can actually enjoy things together that we yeah. can both get enrichment from and joy from. And it's, it's like it's, it's like great. we're open to understanding the other person's passions and mm. embracing them so that we're not just like sticking to our guns on things. And every time that we do that, we're sort of like, oh, I'm so glad that we like... It's freeing. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely to have someone that's different, has different interests, but we have so much common ground so that we do feel like we enrich each other's lives in that way. 100%. So yeah, good assumption. Good assumption. I promise we're not just going to pick all the nice ones. <laughs> okay. No, so you do want you, you do one, one from, from yours. Mine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, juicy one. You and Carrie fell out for a while and that's why she wasn't in your videos for a chunk of time. It's true. <laughs> no, it's COVID. <laughs> yes. I think, I think it's called a pandemic, people. Yeah. <laughs> in the first lockdown, it was like, that's it. Nobody was doing anything. Everyone was working from home. And in our industry, you can do stuff where you can do it from home. There are some things that you can't. So it was like a struggle, but the last thing that I was gonna do was also like be vlogging if Carrie had to like drop something off at my house just so that you guys could could see her basically mm -hmm. like we were still a working business that could work during the pandemic we had to swap like memory cards and things like that but we were never like in contact in that way and it's like we used to put at the beginning of covid when it was like came to picking up content to make sure that you guys got videos and everything, we were putting the memory cards into Tupperware, Tupperware. boxes and we had spraying it with de Dettol. Dettol on both sides of Leaving the front it on door. The, yeah, on the, yeah. So it was on the porch and we'd be like masked up and it was like, oh, best friend. Yeah. <laughs> it was really weird, such a weird experience. And obviously it was weird for me because I always find that like videos and vlogs and things like that, like I love the dynamic of other people in them. Like bouncing off people is such a lovely thing to have as part of a video and there wasn't that much of that anymore because there was no social side of things but we yeah, haven't you didn't fall out you know, yeah i think you'd have to be seeing someone to fall out with them yeah i think no there was no fallout 
No, okay. that was a joke. I think loads of people took it really seriously when I said that you were hanging in your P45. Like, didn't oh yeah, my cousin message? texts me. Yeah, yeah. My cousin watches Lib's videos and she texts me and she was like, oh my God, you're leaving. You haven't told me about this. And I was like, it was, it was a joke, people. Yeah, like it, it's weird, isn't it? Because it's probably really bad, but we joke about that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. I'm like, she'll say something and I'll be like, you can bring in your P45 tomorrow. And she'll and be like, like, good luck. Okay, sweetie. <laughs> good luck with life. <laughs> it's so it is so funny because it's like, we both know it's like, yeah. yeah we're happen. stuck together for yeah, life yeah. now. <laughs> not that we weren't already. No, but no. It's like even more intrinsically like, oh no, we are, we are kind of buggered without each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny. There we didn't fall no out. Fallout. It was a pandemic. Okay, the next one is... You are more extroverted than Carrie. Yes. No! Yeah. No, I'm I would not. say... You're extroverted, I'm introverted. No, I'm an, I'm, I'm an I. Oh, I'm an I as well. Yeah, we're both introverts. Yeah, but I'm... Oh, sorry, I thought you were extroverted. No. Oh, it's Ali that's E N. Ali uh, e. and I are the same, but he's extrovert e that's and I'm it, okay. introvert. So I am more extroverted... Yeah, no, you're right. Sorry, my bad on that one. I thought... I don't know why I thought that. Because I would say that you're extroverted. That's because, but so I'd say you yeah. were as well, but that's because we bring out each other's, like we're yeah. so calm around each other. <laughs> we put like, ease around <laughs> each other. <laughs> it's almost like, is it just the two of us? Okay, let's be normal. <laughs> normal for us. But no, um, day to day, I'm, I, I, I'd say I used to probably be quite extroverted, but I'm definitely a lot shyer and more private now than I was few years ago yeah but I think that in terms of introverted from reading that book as well that is it's uh, quiet like it's that's a fascinating side to to see to introvert is that how it's so weird how people are like you're supposed to be the person that's like the life and soul of the party and so often you'll find that introverted people play that role mm. when they're around people or like they they try to be that in order to be liked and things like that but generally that goes against them. I'm a more extroverted introvert. Absolutely. Like I'm, I'm, I'm almost. But the side that I think the internet doesn't see of you is that you're, like you say, you're expect Liz is expected to be on camera and people see her as this confident person, etc. And you are confident in your own skin, but Liz is not comfortable in social situations with, with strangers and people she's never met and things like that. So she'll be able to hold a conversation and leave the room, but it, like, you've, it's draining isn't it? Yeah well especially um, like in in, thing, in in situations like if I do like a meet up and stuff like yeah. that 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 I find absolutely exhausting. Both of us get in the car home and I always bring Tupperware like gin and tonic or wine for the car home and we both put our cosy socks on and I've packed a blanket and we curl up in the back of the car and fall asleep with our drinks yeah. because both of us are knackered and just kind of think like we survived. Yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but it's like it's not that it's like not enjoyable yeah. it's just it's it goes against like how I generally am socially. I think that's why our friendship works so well because it's almost like we support each other's introvertedness so that it's not exhausting to be around Absolutely. each other. Well, we both of us, if we were to go on a night out, for example, once in a blue moon, we'll both be like, let's go out, out, out. And we're both in the mood to go be around loads of people. I mean, now we're both desperate for it because it's not been possible for yeah. so long. But 99% of the time, when we want to go out, we want it to be the two of us or as couples. Yeah. And we go to a pub or Wobo Mosaic or somewhere like that. Yeah. And we sit in the corner on our own, quiet. Oh, we're so old. Yeah. <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> and we enjoy each other's company as a much smaller unit because it doesn't feel overwhelming. Yeah. And we're so relaxed in each other's company. Yeah. That it's just... It doesn't... It's not an exhausting... You no. don't leave a situation and be like... Because I have a lot of situations where I'm like... Not because it's a like a negative thing, but I'm just exhausted by social situations because it uses up all of my energy and I just crash. Although I'm getting better with it now. I am getting better with it now. So that's, so that's that yeah, one. That's that one. My turn to pick from yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to bleep out the name on this one. You stole Carrie from... Another YouTuber. Another YouTuber. Um, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> I mean, I only got myself a YouTube account about three months ago. I don't watch YouTube. 
I have no friends in the YouTube space. Lids wasn't on YouTube when we developed a friendship. And um, safe to say the answer's a big fat no on that one. Yeah, no, there was definitely no like, Carrie was working in like the fashion e-commerce e e-commerce sector before that makes she it sound very snazzy. Does it? I worked at ASOS, there we go. Yeah, no, but it was fashion <laughs> e-commerce. I didn't know whether you wanted to say it. Yeah, she went to ASOS. She came straight from there to work for me and the only people within the space that you've met have been through me. Correct. Yeah, so if she's been seen with other YouTubers, I'll kill her. No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, it's only ever been with you present anyway. It's yeah, no, no, that's why. I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, I've never heard that one before, but no, it's interesting. It was quite funny. I saw it and I was like, that's that. Although you one. did have someone trying to get you to work for them. Yes. In fact, you have that quite a lot. You do have a lot of like people that we chat to at things and then they're like, they're kind of hope hopeful that I'll look after them as well. Yeah. Do you know what? There, it's something that always fascinates me because I'm someone that's like had management in the past in terms of like big managerial places and I see a lot of the like managerial places now and I, I can see areas where there's like more to bring to the table but at the same time it's just a hard space to be a part of that yeah where are you going with this no idea I don't know <laughs> you've never worked for anyone else in the space other no, than no god no. no and I, I wouldn't I think this works because I want you to do well and I want you to do well yeah so this and is like, yeah. If, if you don't have that vested interest in that person as a person and you're only in it for your own benefit, yeah. I think that's the difference. I think a lot of management companies will probably be out there because they have an interest in the commission or the contacts or wanting to get into the industry themselves. I have no interest in wanting to get into this industry, no interest in the contacts past the fact we meet some lovely people yeah. in this line of work. But more than anything, if you don't want your own best friend to succeed well at what they're doing and then be protected, and Liz is the same back to me. I think that the, the key in this industry is personal investment. Like, that's the key to a really and well... Trust. Yeah, exactly. A well-rounded and powerful team only comes from personal investment and trust. Like, Ali's got such a great manager. Mm -hmm. I've got such a great manager. And the people around us are like personally invested in that. It's why people, when they have like their partners work for them and their mums and their brothers or whatever, that, that's always like what you'll find to be like the closest knit teams. And I think that if anyone can employ people that they know and love and trust and that care about them, that's like a huge competitive Absolutely. advantage. Best but, yeah. interests at heart. Yeah. My, Your turn. My turn. Thanks, G. Do I? Oh, I like this one. Have you ever had arguments you can't come back from, can't discuss now, or else argue? So I read this to her earlier, and th there's definitely <laughs> there's definitely none that we can't discuss. Oh yeah, but we of course we've had arguments. Yeah, yeah. We're friends. I don't think we've we've never had arguments in a work capacity. We've no. disagreed on things, but we made a thing. From the outset, when we started working together, we kind of laid ground rules in terms of we will always be honest, we will always, like, yeah. above everything else, even if it's difficult, we can talk about these things and we put time aside for that. Friendship-wise, it's been through being too drunk. <laughs> yes. Or... So there was, there, there was one time, because I think we've mentioned before that if I, ever I drink gin and wine, it's not a good combination for me. <laughs> and so there was one time where I think it was a taxi driver was... He, he didn't wanted... tell us that we couldn't use our card in, and we should have known as well, but I think we get so used to being able to use cards in taxis. And so we, we had to do like an, a, a longer trip to do it. So that annoyed me. And then I felt like, because I was so irrationally like drunk, I felt that Carrie was siding with the taxi driver. <laughs> so I stormed out of the taxi. She touched up the taxi to stop and got out and left me with the taxi driver in the middle of like nowhere. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, okay. I, and then about 15 minutes later, she came back though and she was like, I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then there was another time when we mixed gin and it was when Carrie was single. Oh and God, she, that time. She fancied this guy and I don't know what, like, I don't know. I put my brave pants on and I went and yeah. chatted to a guy in a bar and he was the nicest guy imaginable. And he turned around and he was like, you are lovely, 
but I'm married and I was like, Carrie, get your eyes tested. He's wearing a ring and you not got your glasses on and didn't see the ring, you bloody idiot. <laughs> and me. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Have a wonderful night. It was really lovely to meet you, etc. And I came back and Liz was like, how did you get no, home? No, 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 no. You walked back and you like I shook your like, head. And I thought, oh my God, what? Like this guy doesn't love my best friend. <laughs> I am going to tell she him. She is the bit, in fairness, that something, Liz is my best biggest cheerleader <laughs> ever for everything like, you will date my best friend <laughs> i was mortified i was mortified this was like hands down like that was the day that i was like i'm never ever mixing my drinks again because i had a bit of a go at this guy and obviously he was actually really really nice to her and really respectful and it was, and me I was like being... lit 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 and she was how like she and i said and i was like arguing with them i said but you told me this and they were like no and i'm like I got like a wobbly bob lip, I was so embarrassed. And so I took her into another bar and we went, we sat down and I said, yeah. he was married. Yeah. And he was a complete gentleman. Uh, honestly, that's one of those, you know, those moments that sticks out when you're just like, my intentions were pure, but I acted like a drunken knob. <laughs> but it's not just a two, it's not just a one way side because I had a situation during the pandemic where I was, I'll say I was really lonely. I was living them on my own. I'd lost my cat before I came, went to Nepal, etc. And it was during that stage where like everyone was doing stuff for each other in the community. And I got this letter through my front door and we won't go into details, but it, <laughs> I sent a photo of it to Lids and it basically turned out to be what I at the time thought was a really lovely community gesture. And <laughs> what Lids then- It's the pessimist in me. <laughs> and then the, Lids was like, Carrie, it's a cult. Like they're looking to, to like pull you in to a cult. And I was like, no, 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 no. This is just a really lovely person on my road who's like wanting this. And that, that didn't go down too well, did well, it? it we was like having quite a balmy over that one because I, I was being really naive and... But the thing was, is that I was obviously, again, coming from a place of care, but also, are you stupid? <laughs> About the, no, the but that was the thing. I was like, I understand, but we butted heads over it. It wasn't even that I was telling you like not to like entertain it, obviously, because lovely gestures happen all the time. I think for me, I could see the effects of being on your own uh, in your house, like during that for months, for months, and then also I could see that these intentions might might be genuine and lovely but just keep your wits about you on this but she she wouldn't listen to me about it and so she in fairness left. Liz has a really annoying habit of being right about people I think the only other time it's not been arguments at all but even no. when I was single and dating for example like don't get me started on the dating in fact I feel like we need to cover that in this section oh, we? <laughs> yes okay yeah Liz has a really annoying habit of being like Carrie not for you I'd be like oh but you're, yeah, you're like miss, like... You I see the good in everyone. But that's also like, as, as someone that is, obviously sees the good in you, I can also see when you're not even seeing the good in them. Yeah. You're being, like, people are taking... Advantage of like, uh, Yeah, like taking your kindness and, and that makes me obviously angry and protective but we also never, makes me want to shake you we never we never argued over it though like in well, fairness your patience we got we came close to it because <laughs> my god the number of times the same situation would come round and round and round and round until you know you every i think every woman has had yeah one or two of those men that just hold your head there was one particular one though i've never even met him but he upset me so much because it was your first date yes like it was your was first true. date and he messed me around messed you around on your first date and so to see my friend being okay and like almost like making excuses oh for i him, did i absolutely I, did. I, I i don't think that i've ever said to you like i've always tried to be really supportive of all of the men that you choose to have in your life Amen. by all of them there aren't that many. No, 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 there's not that many, but like, you know, you became single a couple of months after starting to work with me. Yes. And so, and you've yeah, only just years. now there any, got there into a, like in the last year, yeah, yeah. got into another relationship, mm -hmm. like a proper one. Yeah. And so there has been a few. 
to have. <laughs> oh, I love dating. Yeah, dating yeah. was great fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved it because I got to kind of do it vicariously through her as well. But I never wanted to meet him. I could not bear how like indifferent he was and I want my best friend to be treated like a queen and like this guy was so indifferent and, and yeah. so disrespectful that I was like I can't actually like it's true I, I couldn't put my own feelings aside even with the other one that I didn't like <laughs> I still never said I don't ever want to meet him in fact I did meet him you met him and sat on his coat and, I and said I farted on it <laughs> no, I <laughs> yes, she did. I did. We were sat in the bath. I did. And she was like, we went to the toilet. She was like, yeah, I farted on his coat. <laughs> I was like, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the colour of a beet tree. No, but yeah. Oh. So safe to say, yes, we of course have argued, we have disagreed, <laughs> that's what friendship is, but oh, absolutely really nothing. <laughs> and absolutely nothing has got to the point where we can't come back for it. I feel so hot right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Your oh. turn. Okay, my <laughs> I can't on his coat. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone knows who we're you talking need, about? Everybody needs a best friend as supportive as me. <laughs> yes, He's gonna fart did. on the guy's coat. I did not fart on his coat. I said I wanted to fart on it, but I don't fart, so I couldn't. <laughs> she farts. We share beds many times on this trip. Piss off, this is the last time you're coming on my channel. <laughs> uh, right, is it your ones? Okay. Uh, da, da, da. You can talk to each other without even talking. <laughs> oh this one I feel like this one's a good one because it kind of leads on from what we were talking about with regards to managers before this one says you aren't as productive as you could be if you had a manager that wasn't your BFF yes no I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> no obviously as I mentioned I'm someone that's had proper management in the past it only it, pro no I, that's the wrong word that's the wrong word <laughs> I mean like a management company a management company mm. and I can hands down say that I would never ever re recommend that to anyone personally I'm sure that everyone has different experiences with that and I see some people that even signed with the management team that I had and do so well it wasn't really the right space for me like it just wasn't I then obviously when I'd left it was really difficult because I'd had someone handling my emails and the, the management company said to me that hands down I was the most inquired about talent that they had so I couldn't keep on top of my emails anyway Carrie is the most like proactive productive person that I know and have ever worked with and I didn't have that from my management team like I didn't have that level of devotion first of all like having someone that you are able to have work just for you that again is obviously interested in just you like I had a manager that was spread across five different people probably even more than that so their time wasn't devoted to me and that really didn't work for me in that capacity and then with Carrie literally we're in an office together we strategize together she gets every element and layer of my business in a way that I've never experienced with any management company. I would say this was something that hasn't really been done before. When Before we did it, there wasn't huge amounts of people that had like um, individual managers working for them. And it's not gonna be right for every brand. Like some brands might work with us and think that that was awful or whatever. And other brands are like, hands down, this is the best experience we've had. You can't hit everyone on the mark, but it's, about the way the dynamic works and I felt resentful of my management company because I wasn't getting the dedication that I wanted, I wasn't getting the, the work that I should have been getting with the amount of inquiries that I was getting. I didn't have the investment or time from them and you weren't really given any steer were you? No. Whereas now it, I'll plan everything, we strategize it together to the point where every single morning I tell Lids what she's doing that day. Yeah. And she'll have it in her diary already, but we'll just briefly run through everything, what time she's posting stuff, what she's got to film the shoot that day, etc. etc. Yeah. And it's very rare that that falls by the wayside unless it's through like exceptional circumstance. Yeah. And obviously Carrie runs the whole like back end system of everything. Anyone that works for me as well works under Carrie and she manages all of that 
so that I get to focus on doing the things that I love, which is creating content because I don't feel that my time is best spent there, but Carrie's time is definitely we best spent there. Us, we play to our strengths. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 a, that's one of the biggest things that I've learned is that having people that do the jobs that you can't do well is that's literally the key to business is delegating jobs 100%. to people that can do them better than you. And we've expanded the team accordingly. Yeah. And where where everything was becoming more time intensive as you, Lids grew online and her businesses grew as a result, the areas of responsibility that were not that they weren't worth my time anymore but I my time was more valuable being placed elsewhere we've recruited into those areas yeah or areas where the business got to a certain level and I was like I'm no longer comfortable dealing with this area it's not something that I feel confident enough knowing we've recruited into those areas so, so the question was I think I would definitely say that I am a thousand times more productive through having my best friend as my manager than I would be if I didn't have her and I had a management company. I also think that management companies as the industry evolves, it used to be like the pinnacle, like you had a management company. Now it's sort of like a, it, it's not the same. I mean, in my personal opinion. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it holds the same status anymore no. because we've noticed so many more people bringing it in house and yeah. people like, within the first 18 months of us be being together, the number of people reaching out and inquiring how we did it yeah. was insane. Yeah, I think that it was like at the, in the early days, it made sense. Now it's only if that's really like what you feel you need and you maybe can't have someone in house, then that's where that fills like that gap, I guess. But yeah, no, to answer your question. No, <laughs> is it Mike? No, it's your go. My turn. Has work affected your relationship? The answer's. I think it's affected it in making it stronger as a friendship because... That's what I was going to say. Oh, thanks mate. We already had a great friendship, but I think the level of commitment and openness and honesty and trust that you have to put on the table when you start working together, alongside the amount of time that you are then forced into working, uh, to being around each other, particularly in a job like this, a lot of friendships, I think, would probably find it too much. Yeah. And I think it's testament to our friendship and our honesty mm. that we've just navigated it pretty damn well. I still can't, I, I cannot believe, when I sit down and I think about it, how luck not lucky, but like... We are lucky. Yeah, I guess lucky is the right word. We're exceptionally but, lucky. Like, it just works. Like, it's it's not even now, it's, it's not even something that I feel like we try that hard at it. it's almost second nature like the only thing we have to try with at the moment is getting friend time in yeah purely because we're coming out of lockdown yeah and so th the things that we would normally just do like we do always schedule our meetings in london on a friday and at the end of every friday the moment our last meeting was over we'd go sit in our favorite pub in marlebone and put the world to rights and get drunken chips from Burger King on the way home at silly o'clock in the morning and we'd have friend time at the end of the working week and it was it wasn't even a thought was no. it whereas now it's but like, we didn't realize at the time no, how important that was so like important. we used to do it naturally and we'd just be we'd be like do you want to should we carry on drinking and we just do it and then we'd kind of like debrief for the week and and talk about things like more candidly because we'd had a glass of wine and we we were just like venting or whatever and it was we were talking about this earlier but we have a friend in the industry and she was like oh do you do do you do appraisals and i remember being saying to carrie i was like oh my gosh do you, do you want appraisals from me like do you, is that is this what you i mean you would probably be better off giving me appraisals i was going to say <laughs> i was like i lived to be like so you want an appraisal well done <laughs> how do i do an appraisal <laughs> But um, but that that was our form of appraisals. It oh was yeah, those... we'd put the world to rights. We'd talk about everything over a glass of wine. Yeah, but, and but we'd it would cry. literally only last about half an hour to an hour on end of work yeah. wrap up, and then it was just pure friend time. Yeah, and we tried to do it during lockdown on Zoom a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Where we'd end up just having a glass of wine. It's not the same. No, it's not. The it's same. not the same. I mean, we still ended up giggling and everything, but there's something about the way yeah. that you can just go out with your best friend yeah. and and do that. But we did, and when we couldn't go to like actually inside places or whatever after lo lockdown, we were obviously doing the walks and things like that. But yeah, it was just it. Those were the things that we 
did that we didn't know at the time were really important a for like the strength and health of our relationship as best friends but also for the working relationship mm -hmm. and how maybe we navigated something particularly difficult that week and we needed to just unpick that a little bit and we'd go through it or or we'd celebrate the success yes. we'd had oh, that week. Oh my gosh, yeah, because we rarely have celebrated, like, like I've been at home just celebrating buying myself stuff. Like, yeah. woohoo! <laughs> because it's not the same, whereas we would before go somewhere like Bougie. Like, do you remember that time we went to, I mean, I say we went somewhere Bougie, no, we went to Milton Keynes and we, and we ordered a... DP. Yeah. It's those moments and I, I think it has made our friendship stronger. Yeah. But... I'm still equally proud of us for navigating the last 18 months yeah, it's without challenge. those things and still coming out stronger. Yeah, no, it's true. That was literally a, another like challenge to navigate. But even then, still, we've thrived. Thrived, yeah, exactly. But also just ad adapted. And so I think it's, it, we always say when we have like those little drunken evenings or whatever, where we're just like, it's not like a friendship that we eat well i know i've never no, experienced like before. it's a it's a different type of friendship it's like a an unconditional friendship as long as you don't date a guy that i don't like <laughs> okay one more and then we'll stop because i'm actually roasting it is so hot in here i know if you could see the sky outside right now as well it's bright sunshine blue it sky it was got... raining okay <laughs> it was raining i'm feeling i've got third degree burns over my back now People assume that because Carrie works for you, she's below you. Have we answered that one? No. No. Dude, I run this town. Yeah, I run this. <laughs> it's, I think that this was one of the things that I touched on in my assumptions about me video that like people don't realise is that people paint you as this like poor, hard done by. Oh, it's like it's infuriating. It's actually infuriating because it's, it's insulting because it's, it's like it, that, that's not what you're like at all. And obviously, I had no experience in this industry whatsoever when Liz and I started working together. But I had a damn good career and had worked had, really hard. Still have a damn good career. Had worked really hard yeah. <laughs> to ensure that, like Liz said earlier, everyone panicked when we said we were going to start working they together. Did. My family freaked the hell out. They were like, why would you leave your your career, the salary, etc., etc." Even I was like that. <laughs> everyone <laughs> like everyone panicked, but we kind of, we knew it was going to work in one way, shape or form. I worked hard to ensure I would be in a place that if it didn't work out doing this, I'd have a really good career to fall back into. She had an out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, not the most intelligent person in the world, but in the world, but I will work hard. No, but the good thing about you is that First of all, you work hard, but you also never stop learning. And so yeah, you came into a career that you'd never had any experience in whatsoever. And then you literally- Just negotiating like global L'Oreal contracts. And yeah. all of a sudden you're like head of legal, head of accounts, head of procurement, yeah. head of everything. And you literally like learn. And sometimes like when we have like finance meetings or whatever, you're like asking questions and I'm like, how did you know that? And she's like, I wouldn't know that if I didn't like do this job because I wouldn't have bothered to try and learn. And I'm like, that is fascinating. Life's, <laughs> life's too short to ever stop learning in my opinion. That's the thing that like, I think that is the key to the industry is to keep, like you said, learning. Like even I, like a couple of weeks ago, yeah. a couple of months ago, acknowledged that I needed to learn more stuff in order to be able to do my job still. And so I hired someone to help me learn stuff and completely flip reversed as a as a person and mm -hmm. so it's like even those things where you're like maybe I just don't have that equipment it's being open to the idea of learning and dropping your ego not that either no, of us have true. egos but like dropping your ego and just uh, being I, able to say yeah. I don't know but I'll find out and I'll come back to you or yeah. I don't know enough about this I feel a, bit, a little bit out of my depth I'll go look into it some more and now I think I've learnt so much in this role but it's yeah it is insulting when people think oh poor Carrie yeah Carrie literally runs oh. runs everything and it's me I'm like sometimes it's funny because I wonder what people think when Carrie's like you need to do this today you need to do that today you need to do and because I can imagine that people think that you know everything comes from me down but I'm the creative and that needs creative always needs structure and Carrie brings the structure to it so that everything then works and progresses and so she'll constantly be telling me what I need to do and then I do my part of it and there was always this pressure because of the way that blogging started was that we did everything we were the photographer we were the 
manager, we were the creative, we were the videographer, we were everything. And actually a, a, it was a couple of years ago where I was just like, I don't want to be everything. Like that's a really weird thing that has been thrust upon this industry that you have to be everything. Actually, it's really smart to have good people that specialize in that to make that those things happen yeah. and make everything else work so that it's a good experience for every everyone. But it's a lot cheaper if you don't hire people, but that's not the that's not the point, is it? It works as a better machine when you bring in those that enhance the areas you can't do yourself. Exactly. And on that note And on that note I think that's enough for one yeah, day. That is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really wish we'd done that with wine. I feel like we should do a drunken edition. Uh, we should do a drunk one that's not assumptions, it should just be questions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We'll do it. Because a assumptions is like we're just reconfirming what yes yeah yeah we need yeah. to know yeah that's true we'll do it with we'll do one with wine next time but thank you so much for all of your questions and happy best friend day and happy best friend day i hope you enjoy it thanks best friend love you bye love you bye <laughs> no Hi, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one and let me know if there's anyone else that you would like me to do an assumptions video with <coughs> my husband or <coughs> porter porter would be most vocal yeah yeah he would <laughs> bye bye